How's it going everyone? Minus Party here bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. And today we are playing an old theme deck, which means I am super excited. I always love taking a look at these old decks. And today we're taking a look at the Forest Shadow deck from the Sun and Moon series. Now we're going to be doing the first impressions of this deck, and I'm going to then be trying a game against the ladder, against humans, and I'll try a game against the AIs. So, thank you so much for the suggestion. I, I'm i taking a look at this deck because one of my subscribers um, actually suggested it on one of my previous videos. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this deck. So, quick... Ooh, there are not that many Pokemon. Oh, there's like there's actually quite a few. Never mind, there's a lot. I thought there was one less row, but there's a lot. Alright, there's a lot of Pokemon as always. Um, again, it follows the tradition of really bad supporters. Only Grass and G though, so it's a monotype deck, which is interesting. A lot of Pokemon. Alright, nice coin though. Very handsome coin. Dapper coin. Alright, Kangas Khan. Crosscut, if your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, that does 60 damage instead of 30. Not bad, 130 HP is really good. Hurricane Punch, flip 4 coins, attack does 50 damage for each heads. Okay. I'm not using that. For 4 energies, I'm not using that. That is way too random for four energies. Alright, cross cut it is. Not bad. Surskit. I love Surskit. It's such a cute Pokemon. I've always loved it. Like when I first played Pokemon Emerald, I went out of my way to catch a Surskit. Alright, quick attack. Unfortunately, the Surskit's terrible. It does 10 damage. Do you evolve? You don't evolve. Great. Pinsir. 110 HP. For Roof Fling. Flip a coin. If heads put your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your opponent's hand. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, I love those types of mechanics. And then guillotine to grass for 50. Alright, it's pretty cool. I like that roofling. Against evolution Pokemon, it's so much fun. Um, Spinder, 80 for Tita Punch. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Right. This is a stupidly good Pokemon, right? For one energy for 30 damage plus confusion. How I got two copies of this. This is ironically really powerful. Like, really powerful. Granted, if your opponent evolves, it's not that great. Man, my camera's acting up again. Sorry, everyone. I'm really struggling with my camera at the moment. Um, if, as long as your opponent doesn't evolve, this fuck wasn't great. Alright, Paris. Oh, that's such great card art. Scratch for 30. Eh, eh, it's not great. Parasect. 110 HP. Fury Cutter. Flip three coins. If one of them's, them is heads, the attack does 20 more damage. If two of them are heads, the attack does 60 more damage. If all three of them are heads, the attack does 120 more damage. Man, that'll be cool if you get a Fury Cutter off with three heads. Then Mushroom Drain, 70 damage to heal 30. Eh, not bad. It's not terrible. If I had, like, a bit more health, it'd be great. Um, only one copy of it, though. Rowlet. Okay, let's see how this mascot does. 10, 20, which is standard. Dartrix, 80 HP. Sharp Blade Quilth. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Alright, that's always quite nice. And then Leaf Blade is flip a coin if hits attack does 20 more damage. Eh, not bad. Alright, and Decidueye, 140 HP. Leaf Blade, flip a coin if hits attack does 30 more damage. Eh, it's not terrible, but only one energy is nice. And Brave Bird, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. <sighs> it's not great. It's not great. Um, that damage is very low to be doing 20 damage to yourself. It's nice because the retreat cost is only one, but for 120 damage, you doing 20 damage to yourself is not great. If it was like 140, I could argue it, but oh, that's a bit of a low damage count, eh? And there's the, honestly, I actually prefer the non-shiny. That background is beautiful. All right. For Mantis, 60 HP, Synthesis, search your deck for a Grass Entry card and attach to one of your Pokemon and shuffle your deck. That is amazing. I love this Pokemon just for Synthesis. 100%, I love you. I'm going to be using you a lot. There's two copies of it? Yes. Alright, I like it a lot. Morlo, uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Do you evolve, Morlo? Oh, you do evolve. Oh, interesting. Okay, it'll be worth looking at now. Um, how many are in this deck? Two. And then one Shnartek. 100 HP for Illuminate. 
Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a grass Pokemon and reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Wow, this is very nice bench support. This is very nice bench support. Flickering spores, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. I don't care. Shinonix is going to sit on my bench and get me Pokemon. I like this a lot. I really, really like this a lot. And then the last, oh, not last, Bond Suites. 60 HP for absolutely nothing. I'm never going to be playing you. Picky Peck. 50 HP for Rock Smash. Super Coin if his attack does 10 more damage. And Trump Beak. 80 HP for Bullet Seed. Flip 4 coins, attack does 20 damage for each heads. Alright. First impression of the Pokemon. I don't want the birds. Those two birds there. Bond Suite can leave. Molo can leave. Um, Sirsker can leave, Kangaskhan can leave, Para Pinsa can leave. Uh, even these I'm on the fence for. Overall though, not bad. Shenotic is surprisingly good support. Fermentus is surprisingly good support. And Spinder is great. Um, in terms of damage, Rowlet's uh, Decidueye is okay. <sighs> Getting damage out is going to be difficult with this deck. Alright, supporters. Two nest balls, energy retrieval one, potion one, big molasada one, two timer balls, which is decent, one ultra ball, one prof QI, uh, one draw three, one lily, and 20 energies. So, I don't know why there's 20 energies in this deck, but anyway. Alright, um, I am concerned. My first impressions, the, uh, the support Pokemon are not bad, right? But the damage is lacking. Oh, and this is going to be terrible in the current meta because of the number of fire decks. So that's going to be awkward as all hell. Alright, oh, not going against fire deck, but against going against Soaring Storm, which is terrifying. Um, this is really worrying. No, I don't have internet problems with me. Please don't do that. Please go away. How am I having internet problems? Alright, let's see. Come on. Alright, I'm going first. A hundred percent, I am going first. Um, I don't have much faith in these old decks with supporters. Why are you here? I don't have internet problems. Alright. Um, yeah, with these old type decks, 100% of the time, I'm going for going first if I've got the option. Because, quite frankly, the supporters aren't great. And the supporters aren't exactly there. Um... So let's just go ahead with this. And let's see what we get. I really hope I get this game. Because I'm getting really bad internet problems. Which is very strange. Hmm. I think I've lost connection. Alright, let's continue. I uh, hope this game is stable. I'm a little bit concerned by that. Um, right, so this is not a terrible hand. I would have liked... For Mantis to be first, quite frankly. Quite frankly, I'm not even going to bother putting an energy on Surskit. Because there's just no point. Um, I'm going to Nest Ball right now because I want to get that Shenotic out ASAP. Um, first of all, do I have everything I need? Okay, one to dry is a prize card, which is a bit of a concern, but it's not the end of the world. All right, let's get Molo out. And let's get the Shenotic going. I really want to get Shenotic going as soon as possible. Surskid is probably not going to be long for this world. Um, especially if my opponent is able to bring out Tornadus. It is not going to be around for much. Alright. Um, okay, let's not take down. We'll try and draw it out first. Man! I'm yawning so much today, and it's so weird because I actually had good sleep last night. Ugh! I'm recording this on a Monday morning, which is probably the problem. I'm so tired on Monday mornings. Um, I'm really bummed by this internet because this is actually an interesting hand. Alright, let's go for the draw three. Let's see what we get. Alright, another nest ball, which is actually quite nice. I can get, um, what can I get out? Let me get out the Rowlet. Because then I can use Illuminate to bring out the Evolution. The Dapper Boy. Dartrix. And then I can start charging that up. I got nothing better to do with anything, so let's just pass the turn. 
So, if my opponent has Tornadus, he'll play Tornadus, put an energy down, knock out Surskit. Fermentus will come in. Fermentus will charge up um, Dartrex. So I'll be able to come in and deal Brave Bird damage on the following turn. Which will then knock out Thunderous. Okay, do you have Tornadus? Doesn't have Tornadus. That is, I am very okay with that because it means I'm gonna have time. So let's do a draw three, let's see what we get. All right, didn't re oh, I draw Par drew to Paris, which is actually quite nice. That can go there, that can go there. Didn't draw an energy, which is actually very awkward. Um, let's illuminate and let's bring out, oh, nope, 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 just a dry. The energy is a concern of mine because I needed to get that energy down. Um, let's get Kangas Khan there. And let's end. So now, <laughs> the problem, right, is that I need, I really need to get um, an, an energy on this next turn to be comfortable. I, I would have loved an energy on the previous turn. Um, wow, my opponent's got a fairly a fairly good start. They've got some really bad draws so far. Um, but having those two Pidgeotos on the bench is terrifying for me. Because they're, they're literally drawing three cards every single turn. Now here's the thing, like, if I drew an energy on the previous turn, I could have gone straight into Distant Dry on this turn. And save a prize card. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So let's bring out Fermentus. Um... Yeah, this is so awkward. It's not what I want. It's not what I want at all. Um, let's get this Parasect down. I'll get Lily off and try for an energy. Okay, I got an energy. That's actually really good. Let's drop that down there because then Synthesis can get the last one going there and I can start working on a second Decidueye. Which I know isn't in my deck. It's a prize card. But it's the best option I have. Yeah, it's definitely a prize card. So let's get Rowlet going. And even if I don't... Um, actually, yeah, it's not the end of the world. So let's go Synthesis. And let's get to Situi online. Yeah, man. Man, this idiot really sucks this game. What is happening? And the Situi. So now, if I put knocks out for Mantis, I can get an easy knockout on Thunderous. And... Dartrix deals 20 damage with their attack with Sharp Blade Quill. So here's the irony, right? Once the CGI comes in and knocks out Thunderous, I might actually retreat into... Oh man, I keep forgetting his name. Um, Dartrix? Dartrix. I might actually retreat into Dartrix and knock out their two Pidgeotos. Because unless my opponent plays another banished Pokemon, that 40 damage is going to go on to this Pidgeotto, which will put it in range of the Dartrix. I really hope I don't get disconnected from this game. Because this is actually going... Oh, that was going so well. I actually probably had, could have had that game. Alright, everyone. So with the disruption, um, the service just died on me. So I'm going to jump into another game against actual players. And then I'll jump into an AI game. So, a bit bummed by that. That was quite irritating. Because that was a really good game. Ooh. Really, the one time I'm playing Grass Deck, I run up against Zamazenta. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> Yes, I want to go first. Come on, man. Who plays middle type decks in the current meta? And of course, I have to go up against them. Um, poor Siskit, you're going to be taking taking the brunt of it, my friend. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a really, really tough game. Um, I'm hoping to get Shinotic out super early with his Morlal. 
This is a tough one. This is going to be a really tough one. Ooh, okay. I could really use those draws. That is a lifesaver. That's actually a lifesaver. So, ooh. Ooh, that's very good. Okay, let's get Rowlet down. Um, let's start getting the energy going over there. Because Surskit's not going to do anything. And I'm going to hold off on Ultra Ball until next turn. Okay, I don't want to reveal what I've got just yet. <clears throat> And there's no point really going for it this turn anyway, because I can't use it this turn. So let's see what happens. Uh, rocks is paper, let's just go rock. Ah, that sucks. Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough winning with this deck. I want to get this Decidueye out super early, if I can. Um, I might be able to. Or well, might. If I have Shenotic in my deck, as well as the evolution of Rowlet, whose name I'll always forget, Dartrix, um, I'll be able to do it. So let's see. The problem is they're going to be resisting my attacks, which is a real, real big problem. All right, I didn't really get what I wanted, but that's okay. Let's drop Picky Peck and let's drop Big Malasada. And let's bring out... Okay, I got one Dartrix in my deck. That's unfortunate, which means I got another one as a prize card. Alright, let's get the Shenotic down. Let's use Illuminate. Man, the Shenotic is so good. So good. To bring out Dartrix. Let's get Dartrix down. And let's charge it up. And let's pass the turn. If my opponent evolves as Ferris Seed, I'm going to be in a really tough spot. If Ferrothorn comes out, I'm going to be in a really, really tough spot. Because I can knock it out with Brave Bird. I can knock out Ferris Seed with Brave Bird. I can't knock out Bishop with Brave Bird. Which is a problem. Hmm. I guess I gotta just stop playing aggressive. Let's stop this out. I need to get the pressure going. Let's go for sh uh, illuminate. Let's see what else we can do with this. Um, it's not a whole lot we can do. I guess parasect. I guess going to a Parasect would be my be second best option. It's very expensive with NGs, but it's something. Let's go for a Leaf Blade. That's unfortunate. I really could have used that. And these are the new, the new generation, which means resistance is 30. I really need that to get ahead. If this is a fer Ferrothorn that comes out, I'm... Oh, man, that's a problem. That is a huge, huge problem. What are the chances? Like, of all the decks to go up against, I go up against this deck. Oh, man. Well, I guess it's better than going up against one of the flame top decks, but I mean, still. Oh, man. Alright, um... How do I get out of this? I need to draw supporter, that's for sure. If the energy slap's gonna end me next turn. Yeah, energy stuff's gonna knock me out next turn. So I'm gonna go for Brave Bird to get as much damage off as possible. Um, yeah, let's go for that. I'm gonna get for Mantis start this turn because I need to get something going for energies. The issue is if I don't draw an energy on this next turn, I'm in a world of trouble. And Brave Bird. Oh, I needed that one turn earlier. I desperately needed that one turn earlier. That's... This is actually probably game. They shouldn't drop the energies. If they keep those energies, I'm in serious trouble. And they should keep the energies. Yeah. That's... I don't think I can get through this wall. 
Reduce your amount of damage by 30. There's just no way. There's just absolutely no way. Let's do that. Let's bring out the Parasect. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to bring out Pinsir. And I'm going to hope against hope that I draw an energy on the next turn. To basically try and fling this back to my opponent's hand. To at least try and come back in the energy game. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be such a tough one. I wish this put the cards on top of the deck or in the deck. That would be so good. So, so good. I basically need to, I think I still need to then get to the bishop, which is going to be an issue. I actually don't know how I could win this game. Because even, yeah, they saw it. They 100% saw it. Okay, let me buy myself some time. Man, it's just it's not even good. Let's bring up Parasect. Um, may as well drop a picky pack because at least it's not reducing damage. I guess Trumpic only requires one energy, so it's not terrible. It's cool enough. Ha 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 ha. Please, I need energy on this turn. Alright, thank you. Let's get that like that. Let's get that like that. It irritates me that I can't actually... Oh, man, i got nothing else. <laughs> Spinder right now is honestly one of my best options. These are what I need, but they're not coming out. Let's drop a Rowlet down. Let's hope for a prize card soon. That's all I can do for. And let's go Bullet Seed. One. Really? I get the minimum roll. Alright. Um, options, options, options. Best case scenario, Trumbeak knocks out this Ferrothorn, right? The back Ferrothorn comes in. I fling it. Bishop comes in. I don't have, I don't have an answer for that. Of course. I don't have like a next step after Bishop. Hmm. Guess another pincer in case this one goes down. Alright. I was just trying to win the energy game like that. Let's get that down there. Um. I'm hold it in case I get a spin up. Let's go bullet seed. Come on. One, two, three. There we go. That I needed. That I desperately needed. So at least it's not a whitewash. There's Star Trek. Okay. That's nice. I can get Decidueye out. Uh, so at least some decent damage if the birds come out. Interesting. They went for Bishop. Good play for my opponent. Very good play for my opponent because I identified Roofling. Hmm. Man, I need those supporters. I desperately need. I haven't played a single supporter this game. Yeah, not a single supporter. I've gotten decent draw through Shinotic, so I can't really complain that much. But I need to draw more cards. Alright, let's drop this pincer. I'm gonna try and fling this. Not what I wanted. So I keep illuminating to try and just keep this pull down. Of, because like I don't need these cards in my deck. So let's just bring them out. To hopefully increase my chances of drawing what I actually do need. And... 
I should, uh, let's bring up Rowlet, actually, because Rowlet's probably going to be a sacrifice. Actually, it doesn't matter because there's only two prize cards left. Hey, Riffling went off. That's pretty cool. Huh, it actually worked. That's really cool. River Coin, if he has put your opponent's active Pokemon, all can't touch it. Man, I wish there was one energy. If there was one energy, this card would be so great. And then I could add it to my standard deck. Although, this is probably rotated out by now. The thing is, I'm not going to win this way, because I'm returning it to their hand the whole time, so it's going to carry on playing it. So there's no way I'm going to win in this manner. Yeah, there's nothing I can do against this. Ah, oh, there's a Spinder. Which I actually needed. I shouldn't have played the Violet. Uh, it's increased my chances of drawing energy. I cannot believe I didn't draw a single supporter. Well, considering there's only like five in the deck, it's not that surprising, but still. And... Roofling. Hey, nice Pinsir. Two for two. Pinsir's putting in work. But then here comes the close of the game. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm in a mouse there. Nope, I'm on Mars again. My bad. Um, right. Yeah, this is a really bad matchup for me, unfortunately. Which is quite sad, because it's actually a pretty cool deck. Um, yeah, it's this Shenotic is great. And, like, the Spinder is great. Um, Shenotic actually put in some serious work in this game. Um, does it dry? <laughs> I don't know. Man, how did I go through an entire game without playing a supporter? What garbage is that? Alright, let's so have one game against the AI to just try and showcase it. Oh, the thing is, like, this deck actually performed pretty much how I wanted it to perform. So I might actually just end it here, because I mean, like, I did play half a game against a human player and then a full game against a human player. So yeah, um, my impression this deck, it's gotten old. It's gotten very old. I feel like I played the deck kind of how it was supposed to be played. Like, mechanically, I got the mechanics out. Um, unfortunately, it's just that, like, you need supporters. Like, you, you can't be playing a game without supporters. You need that card advantage, and you need to be able to get your answers out. And, like, I wasn't able to do it. My opponent controlled this entire game. Um, and they dictated what happened, which was the issue. Yeah, well played to my opponent. I actually need to get that spinder out, ironically. Um, it was probably one of the better Pokemon from this deck, this matchup. So that's unfortunate, but that is the Decidueye deck. It's a very cool deck. I'm always a suck of a grass type deck, so I'm always happy to play grass type. Uh, a very unfortunate matchup in that one, and some very unfor unfortunate pulls. Overall, though, I don't know, like. This deck has really good supporter Pokemon in the forms of Shenotic and Spinder. Decidueye is just lacking, hey? I just feel like Decidueye is very meh. Very average. But hey, that's what you get for an old deck. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I had I had some fun playing it, I won't lie. It's, it's a bit of a dated one, but I had some fun playing it. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, if you like these videos, please do consider giving a like and a subscribe. It really helps. It really helps more people just see these videos, which goes a long way to growing the channel and hopefully bringing more content. So, thanks as always so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy.